U.S. Navy take over a disputed island in South China Sea and build a military base. There's a variety of concerns that keep U.S. Indo-Pacific Command, INDO, P-A-C-O-M, on its toes, many centered around the activities of China, which quite often don't match up with the words that come out of Beijing. Its commander said, we certainly view with concern many of the actions that we've seen from Beijing. U.S. Navy Admiral John C. Aquilino, Indo-PACOM commander, said during a presentation August 4th, at the Aspen Security Forum in Colorado. China's actions in Hong Kong, for instance, reneging on promises of autonomy guaranteed there under agreement in 1997 with the British government are of concern. Administrator Aquilino said, those actions were completely disconnected from the wards from Beijing to adhere to the agreement that was in place, he said. We see similar actions if you were to look at the border of India. We view that with concern. Also of concern for Indo-PACOM are China's claims on the South China Sea, which Admiral Aquilino said interfere with the well-being and prosperity of all nations in the region. We view with concern China's unlawful claim to the entire South China Sea directly and negatively impacting all of the countries in the region from their livelihood, whether it be with fishing or access to natural resources, Admiral Aquilino said. Those are the things that led me to believe that our execution of integrated deterrence has to occur now and with a sense of urgency. Ten nations border the South China Sea and many more nations depend on it for trade. With all of those countries, Admiral Aquilino said, the prosperity of all depends on continued free access to the waters there. Roughly a third of liquid natural gas and a quarter of all global trade flows through the South China Sea, Admiral Aquilino said. Bordering nations also rely on the sea for resources as well, such as fishing. It's critically important for all nations, he said. The unlawful claim to the entire South China Sea threatens all of that. When we talk about the South China Sea, understanding the importance is critical. U.S. in part through Indo-PACOM works with allies and partners in the region to reduce tensions there. He said, we spend a lot of time with our allies and partners to ensure that the international rules-based order is maintained and unlawful claims don't go without challenge, he said. But the Chinese just recently unilaterally renamed 80 geographic features in the area with an inherent claim that goes with. U.S. has been operating in the Pacific for more than 80 years now, said Admiral Aquilino, and will continue to do so, including in order to maintain the agreed-upon international rules-based orders that the U.S. and all Pacific nations depend on to ensure prosperity. 
this attempt to restate what a revisionist history view of claims is just counter to everything that those nations with common values believe, he said.